everyone. Welcome to your channel Pharmacypedia. This is Dr. Shikha Chauhan and in this part 2, we are going to share very important questions to be prepared before exams for the subject Pharmacy Practice B Form 7 Semester. If you have not checked my earlier video, I have posted important questions for Pharmacy Practice Module 1 and 2 in my earlier video. So in this session, I am going to discuss from the Module 3, 4 and 5. If you have still not subscribed to my channel Pharmacypedia, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting further important contents related to the pharmacy. So without wasting the time, let us begin the session. So my dear students, first I am going to start with the module 3. So in module 3, I have, these are my personal viewpoints that these questions are very important and if you are able to answer them, I am sure you are going to succeed with the good marks. So the first question is, discuss the organization, functions and policies of pharmacy and therapeutic committee. What is drug formulary? Write a short note on the emergency drug list preparations. Discuss the drug and poison information centers. What are the different sources of drug information? My dear students, here you need the primary information sources as well as the secondary information sources. What are the various computer services and storage and retrieval of information for the drugs? So here where you can discuss the different databases for getting the information on the drugs. Other important questions are what do you understand by patient counseling? You need to give out the definition here. Explain the different steps involved in the patient counseling. Then discuss the code of ethics for community pharmacy. Discuss the role of pharmacist in the interdepartmental communication and community health education. What is the role of pharmacist in the education and training program? What is the significance of effective communication skills between prescribers and the patients? Discuss about the legal requirements and interpretation of the prescribed medication orders. This was from the module 3. Now I am going to start the module 4. In module 4, you should know about what are, how to discuss the dosing pattern and the drug therapy based on pharmacokinetics and disease pattern. Other relevant questions from Module 4 are like discuss the rational use of common OTCs. What do you understand by clinical pharmacy? Discuss the functions and responsibilities of clinical pharmacist. Write a brief note on medication history and pharmaceutical care. So you can get a short note over that. Discuss the budget preparation and implementation. What do you understand by drug therapy monitoring? You should know uh, and you should be able to write a short note on ward round participation, medication chart reviews, clinical reviews and pharmacist intervention. Now I am going to share the important questions from module 5. What do you understand by economic order quality? Here you have to mention the definition as well as the formula. What is reorder quantity level? Discuss the organization of drug stores, types of materials stocked and storage condition of drugs. What do you understand by inventory control? Discuss the principles, purchase procedures, purchase orders, procurement and stocking of drugs. Discuss the different methods used for the analysis of drug expenditure. Other important questions for module 5 are like, what do you understand by investigational drugs? Discuss the principles involved in the use of investigational drugs in hospitals. Discuss the classification of investigational drugs and control of investigational drugs. What is the role of hospital pharmacist in the investigational use of drugs in hospitals? Discuss the important testing parameters of urine analysis report. What is hematology? Discuss the important testing parameters of blood analysis report. So my dear students, I'm sure if you're able to solve out these questions from module 3, 4, 5, you are surely going to succeed in your exam with good marks. Thank you so much everyone for watching the video. Please do like, share and subscribe to my channel Pharmacypedia for getting important information and relevant content related to pharmacy. Thank you so much everyone.